Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be learning about astigmatic clock die and fan test. The two of the most commonly used astigmatic charts are the clock dial chart and the astigmatic fan chart. The reason behind this chart is known as the clock dial chart because the numbers which are shown in the chart that represent similar to the numbers which are there in the face of a clock. And the angular difference between two numbers is 30 degree. Whereas in case of the astigmatic fan chart, the angular difference is 10 degrees. So this astigmatic fan chart is going to give you the reliable result of the axis compared to the clock dial chart where the angular difference between two numbers is 30 degrees. One of very important advantage of these astigmatic charts is that fogging is done prior to this test. So this uh, test have an advantage as it can very well control the patient accommodation. Whereas in case of Jackson cross cylinder where one ray is used to be behind the retina and other in front of the retina and used to coincide the circle of least confusion at the retina. In such case as the one ray of the light is behind the retina which can also act as a stimulus for the accommodation. So we end up chances that the injection cross cylinder can lose its accuracy. If you want to know more about the injection cross cylinder, the link will be given in a description box or you can click the link in the i button also. You can learn about the injection cross cylinder. Due to test complexity for the both practitioner and the patient, it is less often used in the clinical practice compared to the Jackson cross cylinder it becomes one of the essential tests when the Jackson cross cylinder fails. And it is also recommended you should be having more than one test for the astigmatism. What is the optics behind the astigmatic clock dial fan chart? As we are familiar with this diagram where any optical system which is not having a similar curvature lead to the formation of two foci rather than forming a single point and the best image by this optical system is formed somewhere here where there is an equal amount of divergence from one meridian and equal amount of convergence from the another meridian. The distance between two foci is known as the interval of storm. Suppose we have one patient whose uh, refractive error is minus one diaptrical sphere with minus two diaptrical cylinder axis 180 degree. So first step before we show the patient the astigmatic chart also is to consider the circle of least confusion on the retina which is done by placing the best vision sphere in the time frame which provide the maximum visual equity. Remember to do fogging for the high appropriate patient. In our case we have used minus 2 as our best vision sphere which is coinciding our circle of least confusion at the retina. Once uh, the circle of least confusion is on the retina, the patient visual equity is recorded. Recording visual equity will help us to estimate the patient astigmatic amount. Once you have got your patient visual equity with best vision sphere, suppose your patient is reading 6 by 80, so it is uh, estimated that the uncorrected astigmatism is around 2 diopter. Based on the patient visual equity and this table plus sphere power is added which will be equal to the half of astigmatism according to the patient visual equity when the circle of least confusion is on the retina. So suppose your patient is reading 6 by 18 so it is estimated the uncorrected astigmatism is 2. You gonna take a half of the estimated astigmatism which will be the one diopter and you gonna add that to the best vision sphere. So as we gonna add plus one here, what it does, it gonna bring the whole rays in front of the retina where your the back foci will be on the retina rather than the circle of least confusion being on the retina. And alternative method is that you gonna show the astigmatic chart to the patient and uh, you gonna place a high blur lens the making all line blur so that the both focal points are in front of the retina and the accommodation is addressed as we have done in this case where we have plus two. it has brought the both of these foci in front of the retina so means the all line on the chart will look blur for the patient and we gonna slowly we gonna add minus spherical power slowly and keep on adding it until patient sees one of the line in the chart is clear compared to the other lines as the patient and we have came to till here where one of the line has become clear for the patient than the other at this point then examiner began adding a minus cylinder power less in 0.25 diaptrical cylinder steps 
एंड क्वेश्चनिंग द पेशेंट ईच टाइम शार्पनेस ऑफ द लाइन एडिंग माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव डायप्टिकल सिलेंडर ब्रिंग्स द लाइन विच वॉज इन फ्रंट ऑफ द रेटिनर आर डाइवर्जिंग एंड विल मूव टूवर्ड्स द रेटिनर एंड द एग्जामिनर कंटिन्यू टू एडिंग माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव अंटिल पेशेंट रिपोर्ट्स ऑल द लाइन आर इक्वली क्लियर सो वट इन सच केसेज वी गो ना डू वी गो ना स्टार्ट एडिंग जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव डायप्टिकल सिलेंडर वट दैट सिलेंडर इज गो ना डू इट इज गोइंग टू डाइवर्स दिस रीड बैक साइड वॉज द रेटिना वी गो ना कीप ऑन एडिंग दिस माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव डायप्टिकल सिलेंडर अंटिल बोथ ऑफ दीज लाइन आर ऑन द रेटिना एट दिस पॉइंट पेशेंट इज गोइंग टू रिपोर्ट ऑल द लाइन आर इक्वली क्लियर इन द chart so thank you everyone if you wanted to know what is the actual procedure behind the arresting medic fan chart the link will be given in the description box or you can also click the i button up there thank you everyone thank you for listening